Hello again, FA Nation. Justin Fensterman here. And with six games on tap for tonight's DFS NBA slate, let's talk about some of the value on FanDuel and DraftKings for tonight's DFS NBA value video here on FantasyAlarm.com. First at point guard, let's start with Edmund Sumner. The Suns are middle of the road defensively versus point guards, and after seeing him post two games of at least 23 points and seeing a high volume of shots, it makes him a strong value play tonight. He's taken 17 or more field goals in both of his last two outings, shooting over 47% in both games. This game might be on the slower side when it comes to pace, and Sumner averages 1.20 fantasy points per minute with the current active Nets players. He's looking at a usage percentage exceeding 21, and he even contributed three dimes and a block in both of his last two outings. He's played 33 minutes or more in both games, and the Nets need all the help they could get, putting up points with Kyrie Irving off the team and Kevin Durant and Seth Curry hurt. Sticking with the Nets for our shooting guard, let's go with Cameron Thomas. Thomas is looking at a usage percentage of 27, and he scored over 57 DraftKings points and dropped back-to-back -back games of scoring in the 40s. He took 23 shots or more in both of his last two contests and shot over 51% from the field. He's pulled down four or more boards in three of his last four games, and he's even dropped eight dimes total over his last two. Ben Simmons can't shoot, and with him being in the lineup tonight, he'll handle more of the playmaking, and Thomas can still find a good amount of shots in this lineup. The Nets don't have a lot of reliable scorers, and he's even shot nearly 44% from downtown this season. Both Nets guards are in play despite Simmons being active. Devin Booker should be active as well on the other side of the matchup, but he hasn't played a game in a while and could be rusty while defending Thomas. At small forward, we're going with DeAndre Hunter. Hunter has been hot shooting the basketball lately, and we know that he'll get the minutes, and the Pelicans front court is still a bit banged up, and with no Zion Williamson, Hunter has scored 20 points or more in both of his last two outings. He's even helped play make a bit, dropping seven dimes combined in both games during that span, and he grabs at least four boards a contest. Hunter has taken 13 shots or more in five of his last six games. He's shot over 66% in two of his last three battles. He's posted steals in five straight games as well and scored 15 points and grabbed six rebounds in their previous matchup versus New Orleans. Going to the other side of that matchup for our power forward, let's go with Larry Nance Jr. Nance is a volume producer who doesn't need a lot of time to beat up the Hawks front court tonight. The Hawks are a very weak team against big men, and Nance has posted three double-doubles in his last five games, and he scored in double figures in all five contests during that stretch. The pace favors the Pelicans in this contest, and Nance just needs between 20 and 25 minutes to produce. The Hawks are a bottom five team at guarding power forwards and bottom eight at covering centers. Nance has also swatted away shots in two of his last three and stole the ball in three of his last five games. He has double-double potential not even having to play 30 minutes in tonight's matchup. Finally at center, Xavier Tillman. The Grizzlies seem to trust Tillman, who's been seeing an increase in playing time, starts, and he's posted no fewer than 22 DraftKings points in six of his last seven games. Nikola Vucevic is soft, and DeMar DeRozan may sit, and if that's the case, Tillman will have an even easier time battling in the paint. He's grabbed eight or more rebounds in four of his last five contests. He's even produced four games with at least three steals in his last seven. Both the Bulls and Grizzlies are top 12 in pace, and this game should have a swift back and forth. He's even dished three or more assists in each of his last three games as well. He doesn't score enough to be relied on when it comes to the points, but is producing in other areas and getting the minutes and should be able to grab a good amount of rebounds to make his weight in DFS points tonight versus Chicago. And that is your DFS NBA value video, FA Nation. Still a lot of players in the air, and always be mindful at this time of the season, trades can happen at any moment, opening up that value when it comes to the DFS slate. Let's pay attention, watch those injuries, and watch those trades.